Any sort of a levee system was non-existent on the river, and successive floods ravaged the city. A few high places in town afforded themselves, and as the inundations progressed, the populace removed themselves to these high places. True American enterprise reared its head, with ambitious souls plying rowboats through the flooded streets, conveying those with the price of a ride to safety. It was nearly 12 years later, in 1862, that any effective means was found of taming the river of gold. Comparatively few lives were lost in the flooding, the greatest damage being to property, livestock, and morale. These two were the golden days of the river steamers. All of the flash and the class and the glamour of the century rode these giants of the inland waterways. From San Francisco to Red Bluff, the churning paddle wheels ground up and down the river, singing their songs of power, of elegance, and of glory. Driven by steam, fired by wood and coal, these wheels drove some of the grandest boats ever built. What prettier sight than an upriver-bound steamer on a calm day? What could possibly compare with a single stack belching smoke and fire, the sonorous song of the steam whistle, and the thrill of steamboats racing round the bend, racing safely and for fun now, but setting every heart to beating with the rhythm of the massive cylinders, and the masters of society, the riverboat captains, ruling their little domains with all the aplomb of a king. Now around the bend, three ports in sight. Easy now, a snag to the right. Kings and queens of the river, their biggest days. These were the giants, mighty 300-footers, bedecked and bedazzled with the finest food and fittings to be found. A good passage from Sacramento to San Francisco was seven hours, and this was the only way to travel. But these are the last days of the big ones. Now a new danger threatens. Enjoy them while you can. Skipper John Avani, the Dalla King. Yeah, I helped put the machinery of water in and the machinery in the Dalla King and the Dalla Queen also. We put it, put it together, the hull that were built in England, Scotland, and then put together right here in Stockton in uh, about 1926. It's 275-foot uh, length, 285-foot length to be correct, and 58-foot beam. Well, it was 126 staterooms all together. Two decks of staterooms, and uh, the lower deck that's mostly for the crew and, uh, uh, you know, for the employees. Staterooms, the top decks are, are pretty small rooms, uh, and uh, on, the second, on the second deck, on the top deck, they're pretty small, but the second deck, they're pretty good size with staterooms uh, for different, you know, double, double beds, I would imagine, and single beds for the top. There was a dollar, dollar and ninety-five cents round trip. But um, if you got the state room, I believe they charged electric for the state room, but it wasn't an awful lot. I believe it was uh, around a dollar, I think, for the state rooms at the time. Well, it was a race between the Dollar King and the Dollar Queen. They just wanted to try out. She was, she was a fastest boat, and, you know, but they were both built about just about alike. There was an awful lot of difference in between them. Well, I'm not positive sure, but I do believe that the King did uh, run the race, but I'm not sure for that, I, you know. From Sacramento to San Francisco, if they didn't make any stops, why, I said it to all probably around the neighborhood of about six hours. And then we asked Skipper Aventi. The reason for boats like this just uh, going out of business? Well, most of the years, the labor started going up, and, uh, you know, and, and freight, and uh, they put the roads on the levees, and and so much faster with the trucks and, you know, buses and so uh, labor going up, why put the river, put the river out in a bum. As far as dredging or the channel is concerned, uh, is the channel still good? Oh yeah, channel, oh yeah, channel is perfect, oh yeah, there's nothing wrong with the channel at all, nothing wrong with the rivers, it's just, just roads, uh, roads and trucks and so forth to freight. And then about the Delta King and Delta Queen in general. Well, I would give anything in the world to see her back in the river again. Uh, there was, and they still are, the best-looking river boats, and I believe in the world, as far as I'm concerned. The Delta Queen is a California steamer on Mark Twain's River, the Mississippi. After doing her tour of duty during the war as a ferry boat on San Francisco Bay, she was purchased in 1948 by Green Lines of Cincinnati, Ohio, for a Mississippi River excursion boat.
Today, today she steams on the muddy mess, providing pleasure-seeking passengers with the delights of another era. Few, if any, those aboard her today know they're riding on the last of the best from the River of Gold.
Mr. Van Vorn, what's happening here on the river this evening? Well, the Delta King has been liberated once more and put back in the custody of Riverboat's Coming, which we think is the only real safe keeper of that ship. Do you, have any, do you really have any legal right to do this? I would say so, because this is a historical monument that belongs to this city and was rotting away and decaying and totally uncared for for many years in Stockton. Now, what's your next step? Are you going to occupy the boat, uh, have some guards? We have guards on the ship, of course, and we will continue cleaning the ship. And from today, after we have taken back possession of it, get through with them in court, I'm going to take you someplace for dinner and show you who really owns this boat and we're going to do a little of uh, dinner with uh, some of the money the jury has given to us. I know you are. Mr. Bell, you're going to take it to court now. And what, we're already what in court. We'll just add some damages uh, for this. Here, here's some fellows, uh, some thieves that stole this boat and then they want to approach me and suggest that uh, we cooperate with them and have the boat in Sacramento. I, I don't do business with thieves. Pirates is a more romantic expression, but uh, this is just thievery. Uh, we filed a suit, and uh, they, they think it's uh, humorous. They think in this, your chamber of commerce thinks this is a big joke. Sir, can you foresee any circumstances under which the Delta King would be allowed to stay in Sacramento? Not now. Why not now? How would you feel if uh, you went up to look at your property and you had some smart Alex uh, tell you you couldn't come aboard. That, that's cute. So the king rested here, partly in and out of the shade, a very tired hull, some paint peeling, some windows shattered, some murky water lapping at its rusty hull. What happened here today was that there was more publicity. And as a result, the price of the Delta King continues to grow higher, and Mr. Belli's interest grows keener and Sacramento's ability to buy the king probably starts to sink. John Martin, KCRA News, on the east bank of the Sacramento River. <laughs>